Love it. So much inspiration on this Tuesday morning. But right now, joining us is indie singer, songwriter, Lucan Joshua. Now, Lucan has shared the stage with renowned essay musicians such as Karin Zoid in Glaskas while performing at music venues and festivals all over the country. Now, this morning, he is here to tell us about the release of his brand new song called Superhuman and uh, also his upcoming performances in South Africa. Lucan, lucky to have you, my friend. Welcome hey. back. Man, it's good to be back. Yeah, it's, it's good, good to see you. It's good. Um, I was just saying uh, earlier, like, like your sound checks sound amazing. We can't wait for those performers, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. You really, you really got such a cool vibe to you. Thanks, it does. Bro, so last year you were here on Expresso. Um, yes. What have you been up to since? Goodness me, it has been. Uh, well, I lost some hair. <laughs> My hair Still looks good, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's been incredible, man. I mean, uh, as I was telling you, I I left my nine to five, and uh, I've been doing this thing full-time for the last while and it's it's been both scary and uncertain but it's been a faith walk and it's also been an intensely rewarding one being able to travel the country being able to play so many cool shows and venues and festivals yeah. it's been it's been a blessing but that's a huge decision you know to to make such a drastic life change mm -hmm. I mean what brought that on for you I mean how did you get to that point where you're like because I think there's a lot of people out there that is stuck in that situation yes. where they have a passion but they're stuck in a different environment where they are working a nine-to-five how do you step out of that? I believe it's taking a look in the mirror and noticing your first gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's advice if uh, I ever heard it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the moment you see that, you're like, okay, I definitely need to start doing something a little bit more scary and spontaneous with my yes, life, you know? So, yes. I mean, it's ridiculous. We were just speaking about how time has flown so drastically over the past year. And I mean, how also the, the, the amount of time that COVID was a while yeah. back, you know? And, uh, if you look at the amount of, um, well, the speed at which time has just been going, it's crazy how you you realize that eventually it's going to reach the end and you have to do something with your life. And yes. it was now or never, and I was like, if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. So I'm glad that Not I Not just fitness inspiration this morning. And I love that because life is short. You know, why don't you just try and Absolutely. focus on what you do enjoy, yeah. what resonates with you yeah. as a person and your soul. I love oh, that, man. So congrats on that step, dude. Thank you so and much. And you're doing some great things. Uh, you're going to perform your first song for us, um, This Life. Absolutely. Tell me about the song because, I mean, you wrote it, so there was a music video as well. Where was the inspiration for This Life? Has it got anything to do with your big decision? Um, I would say it is, it's relative to it. I lived in the small town of Jeffreys Bay where I learned how to surf and, uh, nice. you know, ride some waves. And I realized in, in that chapter of my life that, uh, you know, it was so important to be able to, to stand still to put my phone to the side and to simply just be in the moments of life and enjoy it because it's all that we will actually ever be. And uh, that's a great starting point, especially for all the fitness that's been happening this morning. You know, I mean, it's, this life's all we're gonna ever have. So why not make the most of it, work your body to, to its core and uh, make the most of life. You have one life and it is this life. And we're gonna hear that song from um, Luke and Joshua in just a little bit. Dude, that's really wonderful to have you. Thank you very much. We look forward to that performance in just a bit. Stick around. It's my feel good breakfast show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take note of this man. If you may be seeing him for the very first time, maybe you're not seeing him for the first time and you know exactly who this man is. His name is Luke and Joshua, and he is simply phenomenal. He's our musical artist for the day. Here he is right now with this song called This Life. Take <laughs> The 
sun is gone, but she's never gone for good. The unconditional conditions are something that I've never understood. But then before you know it, there she is, throwing rays against your windowsill. Like your big daddy papa throwing love your way, and all you've got to do is just be still. Ooh, so open up your eyes, and maybe you will see that the life you live was meant to be lived abundantly. Take a walk outside and breathe in all the green. Take a break from all your favorite shows on TV, 'cause this life. You've got to like a shooter, like a leader, like a leader, but a shooter, leader, but you've got to like a shooter, like a leader, like a leader, but a shooter, leader, but oh, oh, oh. So open up your eyes and maybe you will see that the life you live was meant to be lived abundantly. Take a walk outside. On TV, 'cause this life, like a sugar lead up this life, like a sugar lead up this life, is all that it will ever be. Oh, oh, come on, come on! Look, I can fully understand why you quit your nine to five to do that. That's incredible, oh, man. I feel like wanting. I want to take a road trip now. I mean, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> We're to J-Bay. Cool. Let's go to J-Bay, dude. Like, that's proper road trip music. Stick around. Mm. Luke and Josh are still with us. He's I've got two more performances, actually, so don't miss that. They, that's phenomenal, dude. Really, really nice. Stick around for that. We're going to take a very quick break. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we talk about Kellogg's promise for better days for children. I love focusing on our young ones. We'll see exactly what they are up to. And then we continue with the fitness talk and inspiration. It's all about bodybuilding, the pinnacle of fitness. All that and more coming up.